This is the craziest turbulence I have ever experienced. We were supposed to take off from Lagos at 7 pm for Abuja before a 30 minutes delay was announced and takeoff was shifted. We boarded the plane and the plane was refueled while we sat on the plane before we finally took off around 7.50. We started cruising and seat belt lights went off 30 minutes into the flight and we got this goodie bag, which I'm going to show you what's inside later. The turbulence started about 15 minutes later and almost didn't want to end. We could still feel it mildly even while descending and we finally touched down around 8.55 pm. A subscriber asked me to make a review of Ebom Air. This review cost me 65,000 naira which is about 70 dollars so here we go. Ebom Air was founded in 2019 by the Akwa Ebom State Government to become Nigeria's first state-owned airline and have a fleet size of 7 aircraft consisting of 5 Bombardier CRJ900 and two Airbus A320-200, which will be flying one of them today. Today, I'm flying Ebom Air from Lagos all the way to Abuja. I've heard too much about this airline. Some people say it's the best airline in Nigeria. Yes. I'm about to check yeah, out their I service today. This is your second. This is my yeah. very first time flying Ebom Air. Ebom Air operates from MMA2, so be sure to check your tickets properly if you are flying domestic flights so you don't go to the wrong terminal and miss your flight. In my last flight to Lagos with Green Africa, I mentioned showing you what it looks like in the MMA1 but that will have to be some other time because they are about 10 minutes apart. The flight comes with a baggage allowance of 20kg check-in and 30kg check-in for premium economy which I think is pretty generous. I do not have any check-in bags today but my friends do. I had to put my tripod in their check-in bag because it was considered sharp and wouldn't be allowed on the plane. This is a proper looking boarding pass. Our flight is for 7 pm and this is 6.31. We're checked in and um, we're heading up to the departures area so that we can go catch our flight. The facilities in the airport are quite modern and there are many shops and businesses in here and it's buzzing. You have to show your government identity card here and tap in with your boarding pass to proceed to get your bag scanned. The waiting area is clean and spacious and there are also shops here where you can get a thing or two if you need to. Almost everyone here will be flying Ebom Air, so that gives you some sort of a perspective to how much people trust this airline. Our flight just got delayed for 30 minutes. I thought they said Ebom Air. Hey, let me tap that guy. Did you hear the announcement? We finally started boarding. We had to show our ID card one more time and go through a physical search before proceeding to show our boarding pass one more time before finally getting aboard. It's sort of a lot of checks but um, it's routine around here. First thing I noticed when I stepped into the aircraft was the aircraft is pristine and squeaky clean. This is by far the cleanest local flight I have ever flown. I know I could still see glue marks and taping marks on some other flights I have been on in the past but honestly I am impressed by how clean this aircraft is. The seats are comfortable with enough legroom even at the back of the plane and the cabin crew are very polite and helpful. I didn't check in online or ask for a window seat at the counter just to see where I land and I landed at the back of the plane close to the toilet but thankfully the turbulence couldn't let people move around so much so the toilet was never used until the plane landed in Abuja. You are probably wondering why they have foreign flight attendants just like I did. I'll tell you why later on in this video. We got this refreshment bag which had chocolate cake, Ebom Air chips, Ebom Air water, sweets and a small pack of juice. There's also a small paper bag in here for people who might get air sick and feel like throwing up. Shortly after we began to experience some mild turbulence which got worse and the pilot had to turn on the seatbelt light again and the cabin crew went round to make sure everyone had their belts on before getting themselves seated. The turbulence lasted for a while and I honestly am not terrified by turbulence as I have experienced it very few times but this was crazy. Again, probably because I sat at the back of the plane which I have heard is where turbulence is most severe and no aircraft has ever crashed because of turbulence. If you ever get into turbulence, fasten your seatbelt and stay safe. We began descending and you could still feel the turbulence mildly 
We finally landed in Abuja and I realized it had rained heavily which probably caused the delay in Lagos and the turbulence we experienced. Ibom Air Premium Economy on this flight is well spaced out and the chairs look super comfortable with more than enough legroom so if you have some extra 10kg and need baggage allowance, you could consider upgrading to premium economy rather than paying for excess baggage if the price difference isn't far apart. Ebom Air has had a steady record of on-time flights and they have had the least amount of flight cancellations in Nigeria, completing up to 90% of their scheduled flights on time. This record has increased their ratings and customer base which explains why this Airbus A320 is this full. Fly Ebom Air. Are you are you advertising for them? Fly Ebom Air. <laughs> this is, this is the plane just steals. <laughs> And they recently acquired 10 Airbus A220 to cater to their increasing flyers and add more routes to their network. This Airbus A320 is reportedly on a wet lease until their planes arrived and are delivered. A wet lease is an aircraft lease where the aircraft comes with cabin crew which explains why some of the cabin crew on this flight are in Nigeria. It is worthy of mention that the pilot and lead cabin crew on this flight are Nigerians. Is Ibom Air Nigeria's best airline? Let me know what you think. Ibom Air is not a budget airline, so personally, every service delivered on this flight was supposed to be delivered, but the good thing is they delivered it well, except for the hour long delay we faced before takeoff. One flight is not enough to judge an airline's performance, so until we get to fly them a few more times, then we can make our deductions and hopefully their new airplanes would have arrived and be delivered so we can experience flying in them too. Overall service on Ibom Air was amazing and I'll definitely fly with them again. Also, do you think more states should get their own planes and have their own airlines? I think that will actually make a lot of sense and maybe one day we'll have a national carrier that will fly internationally from Nigeria. Don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time on the channel and hit the like button to give the video a thumbs up. Keep spreading positivity and I'll see you on the next one.